The GPT-5 is here. It has mind-blowing features that are about to redefine what AI, from Anthropic's research to the open source wonders of Mistral AI, let's explore how these advancements are reshaping our digital world. How persuasive can AI really be? Anthropic's research on model persuasiveness is a significant step in understanding the influence of language models like GPT-5. The study introduces a method to measure how convincing these AI models can be. This is important because as AI becomes more advanced, it could have a big impact on society. Imagine having a conversation with an AI that's so good at persuading that it could change your mind about something. That's powerful, right? The research doesn't just look at one version of the AI. It compares different versions to see how they've improved or changed. This is crucial because it helps us see progress over time. Have you ever noticed how some ads or speeches are really convincing? Language models can be like that too. And this study helps us figure out which ones are the most persuasive. Now you might wonder, why does this matter? It matters because AI is everywhere, from the phones we use to the cars we drive. If an AI is very persuasive, it could influence decisions in big ways like how we vote or what we buy. That's why the researchers are also looking at the potential impact on society. What if an AI was so convincing that it could sway public opinion. That's a big deal, and it's something we need to understand better. The implications of persuasive AI on society are profound and far-reaching. When we talk about AI being persuasive, we're looking at how it could potentially shape our beliefs and actions without us even realizing it. This isn't just about getting us to buy something. It's about influencing our views on everything from politics to personal relationships. Can you imagine having a conversation with an AI that's so convincing that it changes your opinion on an important issue? This is where ethical considerations come into play. Should AI have this much power? And who is responsible for the messages it conveys? The creators of these AI models hold significant responsibility because they program the AI's abilities, but it's not just about the creators. It's also about how we as a society choose to use and regulate this technology. Think about the last time you read something that really moved you. Maybe it was a powerful article or a compelling story. Now, what if an AI wrote that? Would it make you feel differently about the message? This is the kind of question that the research on AI persuasiveness brings up. It's not just about the words on the page, it's about understanding the intent behind them and the impact they have. So what can we do to ensure that persuasive AI is used ethically? One approach is to increase transparency. If we know when we're interacting with an AI, we might be more critical of the information it presents. Another approach is to set guidelines for what AI can and cannot do. For example, should there be limits on how AI is used in political campaigns or advertising? The power of persuasive AI also raises questions about our decision making. How much do we trust our judgment if we know an AI is trying to sway us? It's a tricky balance because on one hand, AI can provide us with valuable information and insights, but on the other hand, we don't want to be manipulated. Elon Musk's prediction about the development of AGI has sparked a lot of discussions. He believes that AGI could surpass the smartest human within the next year or two. This idea might seem like something out of a science fiction novel, but Musk's track record of prediction and achievements in technology makes people take notice. Now, what does this mean for us? AGI surpassing human intelligence could lead to significant advancements in many fields. Imagine having an AI doctor who can diagnose illnesses with incredible accuracy or an AI engineer who can design buildings and bridges far beyond our current capabilities. The potential benefits are huge, but so are the risks. Musk's forecast is not without its skeptics. Some experts believe that we're still far from achieving AGI because of the complex nature of human intelligence. It's not just about processing power, it's about understanding the nuances of human emotion, creativity, and reasoning. Can a machine truly replicate that? And if it can, what happens to jobs that rely on those human traits? Despite the skepticism, Musk's prediction highlights the rapid pace of AI development. Just look at how much AI has evolved in the past few years. We've gone from simple chatbots to AI that can write essays, compose music, and even drive cars. So is it really that far-fetched to think that AGI could be just around the corner, people are talking a lot about artificial intelligence that can do everything humans can. It's not far away anymore, and there are many discussions and worries about it. Why is there such a fuss about AGI? Well, it's because AGI has the potential to wield immense power. We're talking about machines that could potentially outthink us in every way. This raises serious questions about who controls these systems and how they are distributed. Should a handful of companies have all the power, or should AGI be a public resource? Safety is another big concern. How do we make sure AGI systems don't don't go.
go rogue. It's not just about preventing a sci-fi scenario where robots take over the world, it's about ensuring these systems don't unintentionally cause harm due to a lack of understanding of complex human values and ethics. And speaking of ethics, there's a whole ethical dimension to this. How do we ensure AGI aligns with human values? And whose values should those be? It's a tricky situation because values can vary greatly across different cultures and individuals. Regulation is one way to address these issues, but how do you regulate something as complex and potentially powerful as AGI? Governments and international bodies are just beginning to grapple with this challenge, and it's not just about creating rules, it's about enforcing them in a way that's fair and effective. Then there's the question of access. If AGI is going to change the world, who will benefit from it? Will it be the rich and powerful, or will everyone have a chance to reap the rewards? This is a critical issue because the equitable distribution of AGI's benefits could either bridge or widen the existing gaps in society. OpenAI keeps making improvements to their GPT-4 model. By releasing incremental updates, OpenAI ensures that its models remain at the forefront of the AI landscape, continuously improving performance and capabilities. This strategy reflects a commitment to progress and innovation, even as the tech community eagerly awaits the arrival of GPT-5. The enhancements in GPT-4, particularly the Turbo version, are significant. They not only surpass previous iterations, but also challenge the dominance of other leading AI models. This is evident in various applications, from coding to language generation, where GPT-4 Turbo has proven its mettle. The dominance of GPT-4 Turbo, however, brings about its own set of considerations. Its impressive performance could potentially delay the release of GPT-5, as it raises the bar for what is expected of the next generation of AI models. This, in turn, influences the broader adoption and development strategies of AI across industries. Organizations may opt to wait for GPT-5, given the high standards set by GPT-4 Turbo, or they may choose to integrate the current model into their operations, leveraging its advanced capabilities. In parallel, OpenAI has been making strides in enhancing the user experience of its ChatGPT interface. The updates are focused on making interactions more intuitive and seamless, particularly with the inclusion of improved image generation features. These changes are indicative of OpenAI's dedication to refining AI interfaces, ensuring that they are not only functional but also user-friendly. Mistral AI is an upgraded development as an open-source alternative to other AI technologies, offering a range of models for various applications. At its core, Mistral AI specializes in processing and generating text that's remarkably human-like. One of the key offerings of Mistral AI is the Mistral 7B Transformer model. It's a smaller version that's proficient in English and can handle content up to 8K in size. Then there's the Mistral 8X7B, the most advanced open model, which supports a 32K context capacity and is fluent in multiple languages including English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, and even coding languages. These models are free to use and modify. So, Mistral AI is like a newer version of ChatGPT. It's got some fancy algorithms that help it understand things better. And guess what? You can customize it a lot. Imagine having a tool that you can tweak to fit your exact needs, whether you're writing a blog or running a customer service chatbot. Plus, Mistral AI can juggle more words at once, which is pretty handy. By making its AI solutions open source, Mistra is inviting AI developers and researchers worldwide to contribute to their projects, enhancing the tools and potentially leading to breakthroughs in AI technology. But why is this important? Well, when you have more minds working on a problem, you're likely to find better solutions faster. As AI gets more involved in our lives, we need to be careful. It's like having a powerful tool, and we have to think about how to use it wisely. How do we protect individuals' rights in the world? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated.